The cruise season in San Diego is actually wrapping up, but it's ending with a stellar experience for passengers. Two Holland America ships left the port of San Diego this week and are headed for Mexico to be in the solar eclipse path of totality. CBS 8's Abby Black went aboard one of the ships to talk to excited passengers who will see the eclipse before anyone else in the United States. I'm on Holland America's Konings Dam and the ship is about to set sail out of the port of San Diego. The ship will be in the solar eclipse's path of totality and passengers expect to have an out of this world experience. Passengers are eager to board one of two Eclipse cruises leaving the port of San Diego. We wanted to see the Eclipse. I don't know if we've ever seen a total Eclipse. Gary and Liz Lusk flew down from Seattle to see their first total solar Eclipse with 2,400 other passengers aboard the Konings Dam ship. Yes, we're going to be the first to, to witness it. During the 22-day uh, cruise, the ship will position itself in Mexico to be the first to view the Eclipse in totality and then head to Hawaii and up to Vancouver. It's really kind of eerie to see stars. You know, did you know stars were up there all the time? <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of that, Gary, Albert Einstein was able to prove the theory of general relativity from the 1919 solar eclipse. Because when the sun was eclipsed, we could actually see the stars that were usually behind the sun, but we just can't see it because of the glare. But those starlight is, is actually bent slightly by gravity. UC San Diego astrophysicist Dr. Adam Burgasser will be on board with his family to take in this unique experience, but he'll also be holding lectures and creating eclipse viewers for past I've been getting emails over the last few months of folks who are bringing their own telescopes, who are excited to kind of witness this. Some of them have actually been on multiple eclipse tours. Burgasser says that Monday's eclipse will give scientists more insight into the elusive solar corona known as the outer atmosphere. Right now we're actually at the peak of the sun's activity. It's actually come a little bit earlier than we expected. So there may be some clues as to why the sun is so active right now when we look at that corona. Earlier this week, Holland America's Zondam set sail from San Diego for a 14-day eclipse viewing cruise in Mexico. But hopefully we have better weather than this. WNEP's meteorologist and NASA partner Eclipse Ambassador Jeremy Lewan from our sister station in Northeast Pennsylvania is aboard the Zondam with Dr. Rick Feinberg from the American Astronomical Society. We're going to be very close to the maximum of solar activity. This once-in-a-lifetime experience has Gary and Liz Lusk thanking their lucky stars. Our family is jealous. <laughs> And remember, not to stare at the sun with the naked eye. You should wear eclipse glasses, use a view box, or watch a live stream. Abby Black, CBS 8.